So another method that you can use to find a determinant is called the matrix extension method. And this also is just for 3 by 3 matrices. It's a bit easier conceptually to understand. Um, for a 3 by 3 matrix, you place copies of columns 1 and 2 on the right of column 3, creating a 3 by 5 matrix. So let's take the matrix D that we had before. D was equal to 10, 8, 1, 1, 9, 2, 9, 11, 7. So you take, since it's a 3 by 3 matrix, you're going to take the first and second columns and you're going to write those again to the right of the third column, like this. 10, 8, 1, 9, 9, 11. Essentially creating a 3 by 5 matrix. And you call this the D extension matrix. Now it's similar to the bent diagonals method, but now that we've done this, we don't actually have to bend any diagonals. The whole thing can be done with ordinary linear, linear diagonals. So it's the sums of products for the three positive linear diagonals, and then you're subtracting the sums of the products for the three negative linear diagonals. So I'm going to write this again. So we've got 10, 8, 1, and over here we've got 10, 8 again. 1, 9, 2, 1, 9, 9, 11, 7, 9, 11. And we're going to be subtracting a value. And I'm just going to write this again for my own clarification. And I'll, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So if you, uh, you recall from the bent diagonals method, um, we went down this first row and got this, the products there. Then we came around and we did, we did 8, 2, and we bent around to 9. But since we stuck it next to this matrix, we can just go down like that and then we go down like this and take the products there. So 10 times 9 times 7 will give us 630 plus 8 times 2 times 9 is 144 plus 1 times 1 times 11 is 11. You add those together and you get 785. Now you subtract sums of products again you go up this way, 9 times 9 times 1, which is 81, plus 11 times 2 times 10, two twenty, plus 7 one times 1 times 8 which is 56. You add those together and you get 357. So it's going to be this value minus this value. So the determinant of D is 785 minus 357, which will equal 428. And as we found in Excel in the video 3.24 in determinants, um, that is the correct determinant for our matrix D. And that's using the matrix extension method. It's probably my favorite method, um, but certainly you do have choices. The next video will discuss another method of how to get the determinant of uh, a larger matrix.